All right, I am here with little Miss Lynn, big Miss Lynn. Um, she is going to start her next layer, which is blue undertones and uh, her veins. So we are going to get started. I have a fresh sponge for this one because I didn't want to contaminate the, well, the other one's getting super absorbed, so we just let that one be. Shake this up a bit. Just like the, the babies, we're going to start with the temples. This is a German vinyl kit, um, which means they don't really play the same rules as the Chinese vinyl kits. Sometimes they, sometimes they actually suck to work with. Sometimes they suck the paint in and cause little gritty spots on the ears and the fingers and stuff. Um, I'm hoping that this one doesn't have it. She's actually pretty soft compared to some German vinyl. And some of the newer ones I've gotten, or actually Anna's gotten, um, doesn't even feel like the old vinyl anymore, so I'm, I'm glad they're starting to fix it. Pretty blue eyes. A little bit under her nose. It's kind of the same step that I do for all of them, um, unless it's a fantasy and it goes straight to a bright color. But if there's any human depth on them, then these layers are kind of all the same. Um, so you'll have to watch that layer on any video I make that has a human baby in it, just because it's part of the process. I'm not going to put any on her head because she doesn't have the soft spot. She does have a little mark, but I, I don't really know what it's from. I'm going to assume that it's just a lich in the vinyl, but it'll be covered by her long, dark hair when she's done, so I don't really care much. All right. I'm going to go through all of the undertones on this baby just so I can call it finished. She's bigger, so it doesn't take as much of the final. Some of these you don't actually see until you start putting paint on top of them. It's kind of a strange effect. She's going to be fun to dress because she's got feet big enough to put proper shoes on. I'll just do one so that it doesn't take the video too long. She also has hands that look like she can hold stuff. I'm going to put an armature in her. Well, I'm going to try. I don't know if I can with her arm holds like this. I might not be able to. At least I'll be able to get one that helps her stand up, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it down into her arms with ball jointed effect like this. Again, in her little arm crotch. And up here in her armpit. Right on her little chest. So I splattered some blue up here. And I was stirring my paint.
Really quick, you can read my spot chat. This baby rattles. Something shakes about in there. to come on start with this one since I've already got her. Nice subtle veins under her skin. really see it. Hopefully you can a little bit. Don't want it too dark because she's not meant to be some sort of a creature of the night baby. I can get that rattly thing out of there before it drives me nuts. There. I'll have to get it out of there because it's going to make me bonkers if I have to hear it clinking around in there. Okay. Rattly baby. Oh, I got splatters on YouTube, dang it. This is just alcohol. Instead of going straight to the acetone or the remover stuff, I'm going to try the alcohol and see if that will help. Lighten it up enough that I don't have to worry about it. Anytime you mix paints near your kit, you have to worry of it splashing up onto your baby sitting around it. This may look easy, but that's probably because I've done over 500 baby dolls in my life cycle so far. And you just kind of, the more you do, the easier it gets.
Cute, cutie, cutie. It's amazing how a little blue <laughs> of all colors makes them look a little more alive. All right, so I had my chest done. You see a little fleck there? Try to get that off. It could be dirt or just a clump of paint, but either way, you don't want it to sit there because if it stays, it's going to turn really dark. These ones don't go on very dark, so I'm going to outline a couple of them again. When your um, blending sponge brush gets full, use a nice towel, preferably a dark one that you can't see all the destructive paint stains, um, and dry off your excess paint on it. Okay, one little arm. I'm gonna do one little leg and then we will, I'll turn off the camera and I will finish the other half so that it doesn't take you so long to watch it.
gonna come in here and do some more depth on these top toes just to give it a little more sheeting. I'm rubbing it because sometimes it makes it sink a little deeper. Those ones are a little bit dark. But nope, I think we're good. Maybe a little more right over here across the shins. Take this off the camera real quick so you can see what Anna Banana is doing, my daughter. Totally oblivious. But Anna is a um, reborn artist also. She specializes in the beautiful ethnics. She's working on a uh, set of twin avatar babies in ethnic skin tones. Anna, show me the one you have, the face. So the one with the closed eyes is Ilan, and the one with the open eyes is Ilo. These are a set of customs she's working on, so she's putting on their stripes right now. Got some mad skills over here. All right, well, that's me all wrapped up. My side of the table, not as cool as hers. <laughs> 